ഫെബ്രുവരി എയ്റ്റീൻത്ത് സൺഡേ മാർക്ക് വൺ ട്വൽവ് ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഇൻ ദി ഓസ്ട്രേലിയൻ ബുഷ് കൺട്രി ഗ്രോസ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ പ്ലാന്റ് കോൾഡ് ദ സൺ ഡ്യൂ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് എ സ്പ്ലെൻഡർ സ്റ്റെം ആൻഡ് ടൈനി റൗണ്ട് ലീവ്സ് fringed with the hairs that glisten with bright drops of liquid as delicate as fine dew who to the insect however that dares to dance on it although its attractive clusters of red white and pink blossoms are harmless the leaves are deadly the shiny moisture on each leaf is sticky and will imprison any bug that touches it as an insect struggle to free itself the vibration causes the leaves to close tightly around it this innocent looking plant then feeds on its victim in today's gospel we have the story of the temptation of jesus as recorded by mark he states that the spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness and he was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted by satan we all know that the temptations are just part of living a christian life the closer we become to god the more we will be tempted certain does not like our getting close to god and will do anything to derail our attempts at holiness temptation is a very real part of life and is especially challenging in our wilderness times we are down discouraged afraid disappointed and lonely certain loves to kick us when we are down every temptation we encounter brings with it a corresponding challenge meeting those challenges ahead on is how we rise above the temptations for instance in the wilderness we are tempted to stray from our values we try to rationalize why we are behaving in a certain way and certain gives us lots of logical excuses our challenge then is to stand firm on our convictions and remain true to our values in the wilderness we are tempted to avoid the pain and struggle of our lives we want to find the easy softer way of avoiding difficulties the challenge we have is to walk through the pain and darkness to persevere and to take the difficult path in terms of financial wilderness we may become paralyzed with the fear of losing our job or of not being able to find a job we may feel overwhelmed when we look at a stack of bills that we cannot pay we may not even think of asking god for help after all 
what does god know about money problems in our wilderness we are tempted to listen to the voices that lead us away from god radio television internet voices tell us what is important in our lives these voices tell us that the good in our lives the god in our lives is represented by money power security fame now all of these are good things but good things become evil when satan tries to convince us that we don't need god in our lives we become out of balance we get confused about what is truly meaningful in our lives and what gives our lives true purpose we begin to think that the happiness is just around the corner if only we can have more things more wealth more security we will be happy the challenge in all of this is to live our lives knowing that god will provide everything we need to be happy the biggest temptation most of us are faced with in the wilderness is to just give up to stop trying to live good lives the only way to keep from giving up when we find ourselves in the wilderness is to persevere we must rise to meet the challenges head on and persevere in doing what is right in being faithful to god in trusting god in listening to god and in loving others as god loves us we learn from jesus that we meet the challenges of the wilderness by meeting god daily jesus the very son of god was ready to meet the challenges in the wilderness because he was in contact every one of those 40 days with god the father this is how jesus knew god's will for his life it is also the way we learn god's will for our lives wishing you a holy sunday father paul csr from kerala